proliferation of weapons of mass destruction refers to the manufacture, acquisition, possession, development, export, transshipment, brokering, transport, transfer, stockpiling, or use of nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons and their means of delivery and related materials. On the other hand, proliferation financing involves raising, moving, or making funds or other assets available for the purposes of WMD proliferation. The financing of proliferation covers more than simply the payment for goods. It involves financial services provided in support of any part of the procurement process at all stages where it exists. It includes, for example, the financial transfer used to pay manufacturers, a ship mortgage or credit line for shipment of illicit sensitive goods, insurance services, and agent fees. In 2004, the United Nations Security Council issued Resolution 1540, which calls on member states to refrain from providing any form of support to non-state actors that attempt to engage in WMD proliferation. In addition, the UN Security Council has adopted resolutions that call for implementation of targeted financial sanctions related to proliferation and its financing. The Financial Action Task Force also adopts UN resolutions that call for TFS implementation in relation to proliferation and financing in its recommendations. Dual-use goods are goods, softwares, and technologies that can be used in both civilian and military applications and generally require permits in order to be imported or exported. Examples of dual-use goods include signal analyzers, metal powder, accelerometers, pressure transducers, servos, and graphite and ceramic materials. A servo, for example, may be used in medical equipment or in developing missile technology. Other examples could include certain graphite and ceramic materials, which can be used in nuclear reactors or in manufacturing something as simple as a pencil. The list of items subjected to import and export controls in the UAE, also known as the UAE Control List, can be found under Cabinet Decision No. 50 of 2020. The UAE Control List implements controls on items adopted under a number of multilateral export control regimes and international standards. The list is composed of 12 categories based on the technology used, and each category includes a technical description of the items and their control parameters. The UAE Control List can be accessed through the Executive Office's website at www.eocn.gov.ae. While conducting your business, you may come across transactions that involve the import or export of dual-use items that are controlled. In such instances, the following additional due diligence steps should be taken. Step 1. You should screen trade-based documents such as bills of lading, invoices, and sales and purchase agreements for alerts against the UAE control list. Step 2. If an alert is identified, you should request the client for technical specifications of the item, such as a catalog or manual, as well as information on the end use and end user of the item. Step 3. Verify whether the item is controlled under the UAE control list. If the item is controlled, you need to ensure that the client has a valid permit issued by the Executive Office before processing the transaction. If the item is not controlled, you may proceed with the transaction. If you are unsure whether the item is controlled or not, you may contact the EOCN by sending an email to tfs at eocn.gov.ae. The EOCN technical support team will review your query and respond accordingly. On the other hand, if the customer due diligence measures reveal suspicious proliferation financing transactions or activities, you should consider reporting an STR or SAR to the UAE Financial Intelligence Unit. Examples of suspicious PF activities include shipments of goods that are incompatible with the known business activity and nature of products or services provided by the entities involved in the transaction, or inconsistencies identified across contracts, invoices, or other trade documents. For more information on countering proliferation financing, please visit the Executive Office for Control and Non-Proliferations website at www.eocn.gov.ae and refer to the guidance on counter-proliferation financing published in the online resources section www.eocn.gov.ae